Okay, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. I'm just gonna lower the sound a little bit. We're gonna jump right into the replay. So I'm gonna be showing you my two mark game in the LTG. For whatever reason, guys, okay, in in this tank and in the LTTB as well. I can never, ever, ever have good games in these tanks, guys. The LTTB and the LTG. I don't know what it is. It's some curse. I'll get in my LTG. I'll have a game where I do like get like two shots off and do practically no spotting damage, and then I will um, play a game in my even 90 and do like 5,000 spotting damage. Play another game in the even 90, 4,000 spotting damage, you know? And the games are just so easy, and then I even play in another tank, and I'll do fine, I'll do great, and then I get into these tanks, guys, and it's just like every single game I get into with these two tanks, for whatever reason, they are just terrible, and it's some of it is matchmaking, but I think it's really just a luck thing. I just can never have good games, and I bounce all my shots, guys, in the LTG and the LTTB. And it's just the most frustrating thing, but on Highway, guys, we finally got a good game, and, um, you know, I was at... I believe I was at... You can see the ISU is getting whacked over here. I believe I was at 82.85% or 82.89% or something like that, so we weren't even close to 85%. And you'll see here, we do almost 7,000 spotting damage, guys, as the game goes on. Because I'm going to put that in the, um, you know, description for the replay for the for the video on YouTube. But, I mean, honestly, guys, like, j I was averaging at best 16, 1,700 combined in this tank. And, you know, it has to be 2,000 plus, really, even to get a 2 mark. So, um, and that's where I want to be at Tier 7. So you can see here, guys, you know, there's not much to really see. I mean, we spotted a Borisk. We spotted, actually, the T-44 wasn't our spot. We spotted the Scorpion G before, and he was getting, you know, whacked quite a bit. And um, that's really it so far. Eventually, we are going to spot more people and do a lot more spotting damage. And um, it seemed as if my TDs were not going to get shots on these people. Um, you know, we, we, we have a Scorpion here. We have Hellcat, Hellcat, high z 152 And... Scorpion and WZ are out here. SU bounces his shot, and oh my goodness, guys, I was just getting so frustrated. I, I eventually started spamming the map, you know, like with all my lines over here. I'm like, shoot these people, please. Like, you know, we have three, we have four TDs over here, and finally people are getting shots. 122 TM is now taking shots and stuff. And finally, guys, like we're getting some spotting damage. So here we go. Scorpion G is getting whacked. Super Hellcat has been spotted. Challenger was spotted, but it didn't even look like it was my spot. However, um, I get all the spotting damage for it here. So I don't know what happened there. It was kind of weird. Like, it didn't pop up to say that I spotted the Challenger, unless I missed it. Um, but we get all the spotting damage on it. We're getting the spotting damage on the Super Hellcat. And, um, you know, look, guys, we're at pretty much 4,000 spotting damage at this point. And this is what we're looking for, guys. So finally, 4112 spotting damage, guys. And, you know, now we can basically start considering at least moving up so you'll see kind of what happens here as i move up super hellcat is going to a1 area and i'm thinking you know seven to two we also won the city if you guys are watching the map you can see our heavies are pushing are pushing up the zero line and at this point, guys, like, like the ISU has 26 HP. I want to get moving here because we need to we need to you know finish these guys off. There's there's um, two RD it looks like. So really, we're only dealing with what four TDs. And thank God, guys, at the AMX. Okay. <clears throat> Normally, when I'm in a light tank, I'm going to show you what I do. Pause real quick. A lot of people like to go up this way. I hate. I absolutely hate. Oh my God, guys going up to this this corner on this map really on both sides on this when you spawn on this side of the map it's a little easier to do because you have the ridge line to keep you safe but i'm telling you guys wargaming needs to fix this they need to make this ditch over here a little deeper so that people on this spawn on the northeast spawn actually have a chance over here because every time you get up to where this super hellcat is um, you know, when you're on the northeast spawn, the only place you're safe is right behind this little building over here. 
and you have to sit behind this building because if you try and sit in this ditch, the ditch is not deep enough to keep you safe and there's nowhere else you can go. The only other place you can go to stay safe is like all the way back here. Whereas over here, you have all this hard cover, you know, you have all this hard cover, you have tons of like bushes and you have this hill and you have this hill, like this is a little valley here that you can stay safe in. And like, there's just so much over on this side of the map that can keep you safe. Whereas over here is not the case, especially if you have people that YOLO you um, and get into like this A1 area, you're helpless guys. Like the, the, the way they have this map designed, it is terrible for the northeast side of the map. And I don't, maybe maybe someone else can see something different there, but it just looks like the, the you know, southwest spawn always has the advantage here, you know? And I just can't see any way, you know, that the northeast has any type of advantage here. And it's especially the case with spotting. So anyway, guys, when I'm in a light tank, I come right up here and I just poke on this now. Like I used to try and get in a bush, bush, but like there's tons of bushes. They never work for me. In the even 90, I might find myself like right here, but I'm telling you guys, it's so much easier to just pop up in this corner. And if people YOLO you from this bridge here or whatever, um, then you, you have your teammates usually here to take shots at them. The only time this becomes a problem is when people are pushing all the way down over into this corner and you have no one left to really help you. Or if, you know, you lose this side of the map and, you know, people are pushing up like this. Anyway, I just wanted to, to kind of, you know, you guys can obviously skip that, um, you know, my, my explanations and stuff in these videos. But I wanted to let you guys know that if you're ever getting wrecked in the, you know, on this part of the map and you're spawning from the northeast, that's the only thing, only option you really have is to stay safe behind this building over here. You know, and I, I honestly suggest if you're playing a light tank, just go right here you know, because there's literally no, even a medium, like you, you, like, it's so difficult to play this side of the map that I, I just, you know, like you, you're, you sit at one building and you have like four tanks that are trying to sit by one building and poke shots at people like this. So that's like the only thing you can do. So I just, in general, guys, I just never usually go over there because it's just so, it's so, it's like, the worst play you can make because you're never going to have a good game if you're just sitting right here behind a building the whole time. You know what I mean? So it's this building right here. So we're going to come up here, guys. We spot the GW, we spot the Tiger, we spotted one more vehicle, uh, Scorpion G, I believe, and he died. And now we're just waiting for our team to take shots at these guys, but it doesn't look like they want to do that. So we're going to pop up again. We're going to, you know, see the 1357. 1357 has more than likely spotted me. He did not. And really, we're just moving up, guys, at this point. Like, the game is over. So, we're going to keep moving up. We spot the GW again, the JP. Someone gets a shot on the GW. Someone gets already is taking a shot at the Tiger. And my spotting damage is just racking up, guys. I wanted to start throwing in some damage here, but I want to be careful not to get lit, and I get lit again. So, I'm going to run back down the hill again. Tiger P is getting hit. I'm, I'm amazed that the JP didn't actually take a shot at me there. And, you know, here you go, guys. I mean, this is... It's 9-3. to three. It's it's a simple win. But, um, to me, this is why I always feel like the Southwest has an advantage here. Because we, the way I spotted these guys, like, we literally wrecked this whole team within a matter of five minutes. You know, the game is over. So, JP is here. I try to put a tracking shot into him. I don't get it. I never get tracking shots, guys. I don't know how people make it look so easy. JP puts one shot into me. I'm just going to keep driving. GW is turning here. And I'm just going to turn away from him. I don't need to clean him up. Someone else can do that. I go to take a shot at the E25. Someone kills the E25. I go to take a shot at the RD. RD someone takes a shot at the RD. Like, everyone was just kind of cleaning up everything that I was going to. So we're at 199 damage, and that's pretty much what it's going to stay at. Watch these shots on the ISU 152. I mean, these aren't even close. I know I'm moving, but, like, these aren't even... These aren't even close, guys. Uh, that one goes, like, right there into the dirt. Like, oh my gosh, guys. I mean, and, I, you know, I have snapshot on this tank, I'm pretty sure. So, and, and you know, dry, on the move, you know, um, the, that one perk you have on the move for your driver, I'm pretty sure I have those. So it's just incredible to me that, you know, that those shots are that inaccurate. So we're going to run and 
the 1357, we have to catch him before he gets to Artie. So I know he's going for Artie, so I'm kind of cutting through the field here. And there he is, guys. We spot him as he's going through the little um, river. And, you know, everyone's going to basically whack this guy. And there you go, guys. 6,921 spotting damage and 199 damage. So that's the game. Let's get into the end plates. I'm not sure if I have them, you know, ready to go here. I don't. And let's see. Oh, I actually don't have the end plates. But, I mean, this was pretty much, you know, what what the game was guys i think it was like 6980 spotting damage or something like that it was just under 7000 spotting damage 199 damage seven spots so i mean not no reason to really um take a look at the end plates it was a mastery um but there was really no blind damage or blind assist damage so um you know i i apologize i didn't appear to save the end plates this was really late last night i had this game at like 1 30 in the morning so i guess i just forgot to save them but um there you go guys we two marked this tank and um you know i like to three mark it but i just don't think i'm good enough to three mark anything above tier six you know we're trying to we're trying to three mark right now the 12t and stuff and um you know for me like Three marking the A20, the AMX ELC, like these tanks weren't that difficult to three mark. I'm gonna bring you guys the um, AMX ELC three mark before this game, so you'll see that one up there already. But um, that's about it, guys. Um, you know, when when you're spawning on highway, I don't know if I've really featured highway much before. I told you how to spot it. I told you how I feel about this field area. Really, the, that's the only place you're gonna go to spot things. You could. Once the team starts breaking down, like if the heavies kind of beat you and you're on the north, I'm sorry, the southwest spawn, you can come up to like this bush line here and stuff like that and spot heavies that are coming down. That's one thing you could do. Um, and some people like to try and go into like this whole patch of up here to spot. I don't recommend that just because it it's kind of pointless. Like most TDs that are sitting all the way back here don't have shots. So you, you would want, like, if your TDs for some reason all set up here, then you could probably make that play. But I prefer just to, you know, spot the field that way. And again, guys, if you're spotting from this side, just come right here to this ridge. Don't try and get into any of these bushes. Maybe if you're in an even 90, you can try for this little bush right here on the map. Um, I mean, you can try to get into, like, one of these ones down here, maybe. But the, the issue with that is that I just don't feel like you spot much. You know, whereas if you're in this bush or this bush, you spot this entire thing over here, you know, from the other spawn. So that's it, guys. That's a little advice and, and strategy on scouting um, the map highway. And there you go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one in the LTG and I will see you for the next video. Bye bye.